Hello everyone, in today's video, we will talk about uh, Azure Sentinel on how to set it up. So Azure Sentinel is a cloud-based uh, SIM solution by Microsoft. Using Azure Sentinel, we can uh, do threat detection across our enterprise. We can respond to those threats in a faster way because it makes use of uh, artificial intelligence. It can help us in reducing IT cost because we do not need any on-premise infrastructure for it. So how does it uh, work? So Azure Sentinel in this, first of all, we connect it to different uh, data sources from where it collects uh, data. It can detect previously undetected threats using Microsoft Analytics and Threat Intelligence. It also investigate threats with the artificial intelligence using machine learning rules to map our network behavior and then it can look anomalies across our resources we can also use built-in orchestration and automation by which we can uh, respond to incidents rapidly so we will see a demo of it so how do we start with azure sentinel first of all we will connect to our data sources so there are a number of connectors available already for different Microsoft solutions like Azure AD, Office 365, Azure ATP and other Microsoft solutions. Apart from this, we can connect to other data sources using REST API or Syslog. After we connect to different data sources, we monitor the data using workbooks. So we will also see a demo of it on how to monitor the data using workbooks. We can create custom workbooks using built-in templates or we can use the already present workbooks. We can set up analytics where we correlate different alerts into incidents. And based on those incidents, we can do automation using Azure Logic Apps. We can find root cause of potential threat using Azure Sentinel Deep Investigation proactively hunt for security threats using hunting search and query tool. We can also make use of a community. So in community, we have Microsoft security analyst, which add new workbooks, add new hunting queries, so we can make use of them. We can also download sample content from common GitHub repository by which we can create our custom workbooks, uh, hunting queries or notebooks or playbooks for Azure Sentinel. So we won't see a demo of these three in this video, probably in another video I will do that. So in brief, these are the things which we will do. We will create a Azure workspace. We will connect our data sources. So if we have virtual machines or machines, we can install Azure Sentinel agent, which is nothing but your log uh, analytics agent. For firewalls and proxies, we can utilize Linux syslog server and uh, that can send data to Azure Sentinel. We will also see how using workbook we can get an insight to our data. We will also see analytic rule types. What are the different kind of analytic rule types? We will create a custom rule and we will also create a playbook for automation or orchestration. For getting started with the Azure Sentinel, we will go to our Azure portal. We will create on create a resource and search for Azure Sentinel. Here we will add a workspace. So I don't have a workspace. I will create a new one. So it's a log analytics uh, workspace. I will create it in Australia East region. And here's the name of my workspace. Workspace uh, has been created. So I will now click on add Azure Sentinel. So Azure Sentinel has been set up now. Here under configuration, first of all, we will add some connectors from where we will collect that data. From here, we can uh, search for the connector. So I'm going to select Azure AD open connector page. I will select the log type. So it gives us two options, uh, sign in logs and audit logs. So I will click on apply here. It also shows us uh, some recommended next steps. For example, here it is showing me that uh, we can add these four recommended workbooks. These are the queries, sample queries. 
which we can run on our log analytics workspace to get the data and these are some analytic templates so for now we will add this workbook so we will click here and click on save and it will ask us at which location we want to save it so i have saved one workbook from azure ad also i will add uh, azure ad audit logs workbook so i will click on save here i will add uh, azure active directory identity protection as well so i will open the connector page and click on connect here also we will get the recommended uh, workbooks and the query so it is not showing me any workbook but it's showing me query and analytics template similarly we can add more connectors for example we have connectors here for azure security center and azure firewall we have connectors for office 365 office 365 atp as well so if i click on office 365 open connector page here it's uh, showing me option for exchange sharepoint team so i could select all of them add them under next step it's showing me recommended workbook so i will add exchange online and office 365 so now i have added two connectors here so currently it's showing me two connected so with a green mark next to them and if i go under workbooks it will show me the workbooks which I have added. So under my workbooks, these are the four workbooks which I added. So if I click on any one of the workbook, for example, Azure AD sign in logs and click on view saved workbook. So currently it's not showing me any data because I just uh, enable these connectors, but after some time I will get data here. We can also create our own workbook by clicking here and clicking on the edit button. So if we edit here, we, we can specify our query and create our own workbooks. Now I will show you analytics uh, space wherein we create uh, different kind of rules which scans our data using which we can generate incidents. So if I go under rule templates here, I see different templates are available and I can use any one of them or create my own. For example, if I search for Azure AD, I will see these templates wherein if someone attempts to bypass conditional access rule in Azure AD, so I can use this template and create an active rule and specify in this template if this action has is performed, then generate an incident. Similarly, this one is for password spray attack against Azure AD application. So if someone does that, then I could use this uh, rule template to create an active rule and uh, generate an incident. There are four kind of rule types. So if I see rule type here, scheduled, fusion, Microsoft security and ML behavior analytics. So this Microsoft security rule type, it automatically create incidents based on the alerts generated from other Microsoft security solutions. And that is in real time. The fusion rule type is to detect any multi-stage attack. And this is enabled by default. And the logic for this fusion rule type is hidden. So you cannot customize it and you can only create one rule with this template, which is already there present in active rules. So the third one is uh, machine learning behavior analytics. This works on Microsoft uh, machine learning algorithm and it's their proprietary algorithm. You cannot uh, modify it or see the internal logic of uh, how it works. It is hidden, so you cannot uh, customize it. The fourth one and the most common one is the scheduled analytic rule so it's uh, based on built-in queries uh, written by microsoft we can see the query logic and we can customize the uh, scheduled rule types and create our own new rules for the demo purpose i will show you how to create a rule type so i will use this one user account created and deleted within 10 minutes so i will select it and uh, click on create rule 
so this rule will generate an uh, alert if the user account has been created and deleted within 10 minutes but i will modify it and create my own and specify 30 minutes under tactics we can select the categories of this rule type this we select only to classify the rule so this is fine and then the severity whether we want the rule to be enabled so here is the rule logic so instead of uh, 10 minutes i will change it to 30 minutes So using a map entities, we can map the results which we are getting from our query like computer to Azure Sentinel recognized entities. For example, for IP, we can select computer here and add it. So account and host are by default defined in the query. So when we want to run this query, run query every, I would specify five minutes and it will look the data from the last one hour. Here we can specify when it would generate an alert. Generate alert when number of query results is greater than zero. Even if a single user account has been created and deleted, it will generate an alert. But if I want that if more than five user account have been created and deleted within 30 minutes, then generate an alert, then I can put five here. Here we have the option whether we want to group all events into a single alert or trigger an alert for each event. So I would select trigger an alert for each event. Stop running query after an alert is generated. So once an alert is generated, we can stop the query running for certain number of time. So I would keep it off. Create incidents from alert triggered by this analytic rule. So by default, it's enabled. So it will create an incident for each alert. We can disable it. We can enable grouping of uh, different uh, alerts into a single incident, but if I keep it disabled and leave it like this, then for each alert, a single incident would be generated. Next is uh, automated response. So currently I do not have a playbook. I told you about orchestration. So I will show you that before I do that, let me disable this and create this rule and then create a playbook and then link with this uh, rule and then I will enable it. So under active rules, I could see user account created and deleted within 30 minutes. Here we will create the orchestration. So this is Azure Logic Apps. I will click on add playbook. So I have put in the resource group name, the Logic App name, and I'm going to create this Logic App. Logic app has been created and it's going into Logic app designer. I will select a blank Logic app. Search for Sentinel and select when a response to an Azure Sentinel alert is uh, triggered. And then we will add a new step. For example, we will send an email. So I will search for send email. Office 365 Outlook and send an email. We will specify the body subject and the person who we want to send the email. So when an alert would be triggered, I'm sending an email to mail user one at anudev.co.in. I have specified a subject and uh, body of the email. We can also add dynamic content, but that would be a discussion topic when we will discuss Azure Logic Apps. In Azure Logic Apps, we can do other things as well, like run an Azure function or maybe save the event to an Azure Blob Storage account. So there are many options in Azure Logic Apps which we can explore. So our Logic App uh, playbook has been created. We will go to Analytics. So this was the rule which we created. We will edit it. Now I will enable the rule and select my playbook. And save. So once it is uh, saved, I will create a user account in Azure AD and delete it. Here I am creating a user. So this is the test user which I just created. And now I will delete it. 
here I am in my email and I could see that the alert has come up alert triggered user account created and deleted alert for user deleted too soon so our Azure analytic rule and the playbook is uh, working now now if I go under workbooks and it's been some time I configured them so I should see some data so let us see our Azure ready sign-in logs here it's showing all sign-ins five success one pending user action one it's also showing me the location sign-in details and the sign-in time sign-in device sign-in using conditional access so my other workbooks also will start giving me data in some time so this was a small demo on how to get started with Azure Sentinel we saw how to enable Azure Sentinel how to add data connectors to different services how to add workbooks to view the data we saw how to create uh, rules using rules we can generate alerts and incidents using playbooks we can do some orchestration based on those uh, rules so for example we can have uh, a playbook which creates an incident in service now we can do that we can have playbook which uh, runs an azure function or some script so th the options are limitless i hope you like this video on how to get started with azure sentinel and i will see you in my next video please uh, like and subscribe to my channel bye bye